One of my favorite tricks to do with compositing in Tomb Boom Harmony is to actually take a lens flare from Photoshop. And so I have a lens flare here on a black background. And if I jump over to Harmony, I've imported that, but I am able to set up a blending node. And this is in Harmony Premium. And so now I actually have this little image here uh, with my background, looking at it in render view. And I also can animate this over time if I wanted to add in, let's say, uh, different transparencies and change that over time. So let's show you exactly how this is done. All right, so in Harmony, I have this little flare here. Let me go ahead and add a peg to it. Command P, Control P on PC. And let me move this to about where I need that to be. All right, let me press D. Press A to turn it back on. Press D. Okay, cool. Um, and now what I want to do is I'm going to add in a blending mode. So hit return and type in blend or BLE. And let's hold down my option key, Alt on PC, pull this into my cable, double click. And this is kind of like in Photoshop or Illustrator um, or Adobe products, change the blend mode from here to screen. And you won't be able to see anything in the normal view. We'll jump over to render view. And there we have it. Let me move this over a little bit. All right, and there we have our simple little lens flare added on here, and it's pretty sneaky to do. And of course, you can add in some more little light rays inside of Harmony. Now, if you want to see this and other tricks like this, please be sure to join us for our workshop tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll, we'll be going over some simple compositing tips and tricks in Toon Boom Harmony Premium, as well as if you are using Essentials or Advanced, you can join us on Sunday for compositing in those programs on the timeline versus on the node view. This has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com and hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.